Let's continue our discussion on on uh, statically indeterminate versus statically determinate um, systems. So we saw that a a rigid body. This is the important thing, guys. Okay, so a rigid body is statically indeterminate if there are more external supports or constraints than are necessary to maintain an equilibrium position. So we saw that in this example here, if we assume this is a rigid body, in order for this body to maintain equilibrium, a single force in this specific example in the horizontal direction is sufficient. It's a single force there at A is sufficient for this body to maintain equilibrium in the X direction. If we change B and we make it a pin connection, then this, this force is then called redundant, right? Or it's not necessarily that this force is redundant, but in this system there is one redundant force because we don't need both of these constraints to constrain the body from moving in the horizontal direction. Either the one at BX or the one at, B, at AX is sufficient. Okay, so, so in this specific example, you have one redundant uh, constraint, a redundant unknown force. And let's go over here. There is something called the degree of statical indeterminacy and it equals the total number of unknown external forces. So in that case that we just looked at, there were four unknown forces. There was the AX, AY, BX, and BY. Okay? But we only had three equilibrium equations. Okay? Equilibrium equations. And so, the, this, the degree of statical indeterminacy is equal to the total number of unknowns minus the number of available e uh, independent equations of equilibrium. So, in this specific case that we, we saw, we have a statically indeterminate problem and we need an extra equation, which is for a more advanced course on deformable body mechanics. Okay? If these are equal... If you've got three unknowns, three equilibrium, then we have a statically determinate problem where the equilibrium equations are sufficient. Okay? Now, in, in our study of statics in this course, we are restricting ourselves to statically determinate problems. Okay? So all we're doing here is we're introducing this idea of a, a structure being statically indeterminate. But in this course, we will focus on statically determinate problems. Okay? All right, I think that is good enough. So when you're looking at a problem, it is always good to count the number of unknown variables on a given body. Okay? The unknown the unknown forces, the unknown constraints, and be certain that an equal number of independent equations can be written. Otherwise, you might be wasting your time with an impossible solution because you have more unknowns than equations. Okay.